Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam and this is HMO4 Gaming welcoming you back to Trails of Cold Steel. In the last episode we made it here through our first dungeon, basically getting a handle of the combat, which is just basic Trails combat. Met a few members of Class 7 and we made it here to the very end. You know it's the very end when there's a save and health font right by the door that leads to uh, another part of the area. And if you're excited to most likely take on our first boss of the game, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. And without further ado, let's do it. And hopefully don't get smacked by whatever we're about to fight. And just let's speed it up here, because sometimes Looks this game like can be really slow. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. <sighs> they have a nerve to call this an orienteering exercise. I'm not certain what I was expecting from an academy founded by Emperor Drygols. I can tell you this wasn't it. I mean, some of those dudes, if you don't know what's going on, are, could be tough. You can say that again. What's all that business about Class 7 anyway? Good question. We've got people here from different backgrounds, classes, even cultures. Is there some sort of secret agenda with this whole Class 7 thing that we just don't know yet? I mean, most likely. They're not going to just outright tell you. What was that? There. Oh, of Stand course, you? there's always a monster. What the heck is that? A beast of living stone? Igloot Gramar, Stone Guardian. Are monsters like this common in the Empire? <laughs> Gaius is like, hey guys, is this an everyday occurrence? Of course not! Um. This thing's cutting off our only route to the surface. No choice. We have to fight it. Right. Man. Dear, I thought the worst was over. Idios, help us. This looks tough. Careful! Alright, let's watch what we're doing here. Get some strength up. This thing might be resistant to attacks. Ooh. It's doing something, so let's make sure we're getting some strength up. Defense up. No, I don't want to do that. Maybe I can cancel it and unbalance it. Ooh, there we go. Alright, it does pretty good damage. Let's see... Firebolt. Ooh, that was like an immediate. Let's see what we're dealing with here. No, not smoke grenade. Igne Gormar, a stone gargoyle spoken of in Erebonian legends. Its sturdy body repels physical attacks. Okay. It's kind of weak and deficient versus pretty much everything. I wish we had some stuff that can blind and mute. But I guess break shots what we're gonna have to go with, as it definitely decreases defense. That does like 300 some damage. That does 400 some damage. So I guess we can just keep uh, keeping our defenses up. And keeping its defenses down. That did 206. My turn. Can I strike you with water? Ooh, that did like 500 damage. All right. 441. Leave it to me. I'm gaining health back. 495. Oh, it did whatever to help. Leave it to me. All right. 310. Let's just keep on keeping our defenses up. Is any different now? Okay, so he's a little bit more efficient versus rock. Alright, do I have... Oh yeah, I do. Petrify. He's res Yeah, but it says he's resistant. 
All right. All right. I would imagine flying spear. No, that only does 200. Missed. Look at that. Again, keep up our defenses. Doing pretty good in that regard. Wonder if I can get him to sleep. That did nothing. All right, that does nothing too. Seems like our regular attacks are doing a hell of a lot more than just anything. And break shot. All right, Ryan, you gotta. There we go. Yeah, we might as well just use our regular attacks. Oh, if that's oh, that might have been what I was looking at. Huh. Well, anyway. I guess when he transformed, he lost his immunity to physical attacks, and now you use physical rather than magical. Either way, let's keep our defenses up. He's not really that tough now, seeing as though we're all super, you know, healed up. Ooh. Oh. I was going to say, can we get the blow? All right, Machias, do it. There we go. Pretty good. All right, let's keep moving. Nothing too crazy. Four minute battle. We just used our buffs for Elliot and the rest of the boys took care of the rest. Bunch of Septs. Ooh, we got a poison charm. I think that's for Machias. And there we go. Is it dead? No, it's down, but not out. Yeah, I was going to say it shouldn't be that easy. That's one hell of a second wind. Looks like this thing has our number. It's what are you nice. talking about? We were doing just Excuse fine. Me, I have no choice. Stand back. Ooh, what kind of no choice was he uh, saying there? Hey. I have an idea. You made it. But I'm sure we won't get to that for at least another chapter or two. You've certainly got some good timing. <sighs> Seems like you're all okay at least. I'm sorry we took so long. You're here, and that's what counts. So, a gargoyle, is it? I didn't expect to find the Dark Ages alive and well down here. Yeah, well, it's got to test us somehow, I guess. It doesn't seem like it'll go down easily. We give it everything we had, but as you can see, it's rallying at an alarming rate. But with this many of us, if we can just find an opening? Fine. I guess I'll help out. I hope the hell you will. So it's all come down to me, then. You! Argus, activate. Strike. I don't think he was really weak to airstrike, but whatever. An opening, go. Ooh. I guess we're all helping each other. This one's mine. Man, we could have probably done that from the beginning. You'd just chop his head off. <laughs> But whatever. It, it, we did it! Good job, everybody. <sighs> I think that's the end of it. Hell yeah. At the very least, that creature doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle... Now that you mention it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. There was a shimmering veil of blue light surrounding each of us. Was there? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat. But I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think it was just your imagination. Agreed. I have a feeling what we just experienced was... The biggest selling point of the almighty Arcus? Give this man a prize. Oh, yeah, that confirms it to me. So I guess Fee already knew what was going on because everybody else was like, huh? And then Fee's like, eh. Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. It's either Fee's either the younger sister of Sarah or Sarah's her mother. I'm One so of the two. Of you guys. Anyway, 
that about finishes up today's special orienteering exercise. Aw, what's with the long faces? I thought you'd all be happy. What are we supposed to be happy about? I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean, we get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Hmm, that is a valid question. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus ornaments you've got there. How so? Well, like I explained earlier, the Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ornament, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. That's the phenomenon you all experienced just now. So that's what that was. This seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. Precisely. Doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync, even in the most chaotic conditions. You can hardly put a price on that! It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Hmm. It does sound rather... Idealistic. Well, yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just... don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. And since aptitude trumps background in class seven, well... I see. But what gives us this aptitude, though, as compared to our peers? It just seems so... random. What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. I think that pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. But this program isn't cheap to run, so we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. You should also be aware that Class 7's curriculum will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just fair warning. So now you know. And that leaves you all with an important decision to make. Will you stick with Class 7 or not? Oh, if you opt out, you'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. Nobles will land in Class 1 or 2, commoners in 3, 4, or 5. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure you'd fit in just fine. I'll do it. Whatever Class 7 has to throw at me, I'm game. Alright, Reen with the main protagonist energy. Oh, wait, what? Just like that? So you're the first, then. You seem pretty sure about it. Any particular reason? Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. Hmm, a noble sentiment. Count me in as well. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit, after all. Let's make it three. Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before I even started. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board, and our foreign exchange student, too. Any more takers? Allow me to take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity, so I feel it's my duty to help in any way I can. Sign me up, too! I kind of feel like fate brought us here for a reason, you know? And you all seem pretty easy to get along with. And that's a yes from our two Orbal staff testers. Though I feel compelled to remind you, your weapons are still in the prototype stage. So on top of your other work, 
I'll be expecting reports from both of you. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me join too. Huh? Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. It does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back, I'd never amount to much. <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you, Fee? Don't really care either way. You can choose. Not this time. This is one call you're gonna have to make for yourself. That was the deal, remember? You need to take control of your own life. <sighs> Fine, I'm in. <sighs> well, at least you committed. We've got a magnificent seven now. Which leaves just the two of you. <clears throat> I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. Like hell we will! The exploitation of the common people by the aristocracy is a blight on every facet of Erebonian life. Unless something is done about it, this country has no future. I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Well, at least that makes this simple. I, Yusus Alborea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Huh? Why? You're the son of a duke! Just the thought of being in the same class as commoners should make you sick! I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. As far as the House of Alborea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. <laughs> That said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis, either. I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this, no? I don't need some pompous ass who coasts through life on his father's coattails telling me what to do. I'm in. Come hell or high water. You might have had your successes spoon-fed to you up to now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies anymore. <laughs> we'll see about that. going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. Oh. <laughs> the pots shouldn't be too hard on the kettles. Give a guy a break. Well, how about that? Nine out of nine. With that, I'd like to congratulate all of you on being the first ever Class 7. I hope you keep those high spirits all here, because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll need it. Well, well, I wasn't expecting Class 7 to turn out quite as diverse as this. It certainly promises to be an interesting year. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. But perhaps this, too, is the divine providence of the goddess, no? How do you mean? Seeing them oh, there, hello, I Prince. I feel they have the potential to be the light we seek. A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day. And with that, the prologue comes to an end. The way the Thors. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. In the next episode, we will finally be starting our normal student life at Thor's, officially. We'll be able to take control of Reen and start doing some quests. I'm Wicker and I making our way through the game. And I hope you join me for that in the next episode. But until then, I have been Adam, this has been HMO4 Gaming, and this has been The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day.